For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Atwell's Camping and Leisure with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you a review on a very nice tent from Atwell. This here is the Atwell Phoenix 7 ATC. So the ATC stands for Air Technical Cotton. So it's inflatable, so it's partly inflatable. That's a kind of a hybrid, really. So you've got one, two, three inflatable chambers um, where the poles would be, uh, and they're all sort of multiple point inflation. So each one is pumped up individually, and two steel poles for the canopy area, yet again, it's more to keep the price down to a, something that's a bit more affordable. Technical cotton refers to it being a poly cotton tent. So poly cotton is a really beautiful fabric, and it's basically, it adapts to the temperatures that you're in. So perfect for going sort of over to continental Europe, you know, into France, southern France, that sort of thing, where it's going to be a bit warmer. So the actual fabric breathes. The way it works is the um, cotton element of it, uh, actually the weave opens up, allows air to pass inside of, through it, and then it keeps it inside a lot cooler. On the flip side, when it's colder, the weave tightens and keeps the warmth in, so really it is sort of the best material you can go for. And rather than traditional canvas, which naturally tends to be heavier and quite bulky, being a 65% cotton, 35% polyester gives it that sort of blend. So you get the quicker dryness, dryness of it, of the polyester, I mean, it's not the same as a full polyester tent, um, but also takes the weight out of it in comparison to a proper canvas. So really, the poly cotton that they use is really, really nice. Naturally, without well, you would assume they pack it with tons of features, and they do. So one of which obviously is these ventilation panels situated along the side, which obviously give you good circulation of air to keep it a bit cooler on the inside. Yeah, again, you've got beautiful, big, nice windows, uh, which are tinted as well. So it means you can get the privacy from the outside without having to have the curtains up. So it means people can't really see when you're looking in, but you can still look out more than happily and see where the kids are on spot and make sure they're up to no good. One thing again with on the steel poles, you've got um, the uh, Atwell's wind stabilizer system. So it's actually a point that brings the fabric and the pole and pulls them both together rather than just pulling the fabric. So yet again, helps with the sort of structure of the tent. And yet again, on top, you've got um, flat pole seams. So that's, yet again, in, in the aerodynamic side of things, when you've got a real blusty gale, it just stops it from catching points and makes it a bit more structurally stronger. Present model, and what they've done is actually also has a canopy part that zips off. So the principle of this actually comes in sort of two bags. Uh, one bag for the sort of main part of the tent and a separate one for the canopy. Reason being is just to make sure it's not too big and bulky all in one bag. We have ourselves actually packed it up in the one bag, but really uh, customers, you know, it's, it's always the hardest thing to do. So yet again, that will have been very realistic and said, right, have two bags, make it easier and possible. So we'll talk for a few more features as we go inside, but I would just like to mention, obviously, we've taken the front door out at the moment. So it does come supplied with uh, a door at the front here, as well as a ground sheet, which is actually a bathtub ground sheet. Uh, but like I said, we'll touch a bit more of that as we go inside. So um, let's go have a look. So now we're inside the Vermont XRP. You can get a bit more of a better grasp for how it's all laid out. So like I said, you've got sort of three sections to the actual tent. Your main sleeping area at the back, a really good sized living area, and a beautiful, nice, big, open canopy area. Canopy area, like I said, on the front door, you can see you can actually just got a second door here, uh, which if you don't want to have it nice and open, you can keep it just all nice and plain and simple. But you've also got a mesh panel on that door as well, so it means you can get a good circulation of air without having sort of to worry about bugs or critters coming in. In the camping area, you've got a bathtub ground sheet, so basically it comes up at the sides, you're going to stop the draft coming underneath, and it sort of toggles up, and it's a really nice sort of thorough one. And certainly, when you come into the entrance part, it actually zips down and makes it flat, so you haven't got a lip when you're stepping in or out of the tent. Moving on to the living area, you see there is a slight little lip, but you've got plenty of play in that, so you probably, if you want to, you could try and peg that down a bit more thoroughly. Also, what's on the outside is about the window situation. So all the windows have the ability of curtains, so you can actually more than happily, and there's all zip up and down curtains. It's a very sort of thorough job. So joys of it, you've just got a small little retainer. That just comes out there, and then you can, two zips either side, and you can have your privacy. The joys of actually using zips is the fact you can actually have it halfway. So if you wanted to, just sort of, again, flood a bit of the light in, but still keep certain things pri private, you can also do that. One thing that Vermont actually does have in comparison to other models in the Atwells is things like places to hang your towels. So most, well, quite a few of the Atwell tents have their own individual wardrobes, which is fair enough, because you always have a, a hanging rail in there to put your clothes or hang towels and stuff, keep it dry. But this is, Vermont's quite unique. There's got 
to either side of the canopy area. And the joys of that, again, if the tiles are dripping dry, you can remove the front ground sheet in the canopy area, which probably I would recommend doing anyway. That way, when you leave the door open, if it starts raining, it's just going to go straight into the ground rather than collect on the ground sheet. And so the same sort of thing again, when the tiles are drying, just drips into the grass, not a problem. You've got a nice big open door in from the canopy area to the main living area. Um, and then you can tuck it away and have it as one nice open area like we have here. So we've just put this aside for a time being, but I can show you guys what that looks like. So you can zip it up. Take it to halfway, and there's actually a point here to roll it back. Alternatively, you can make it all the way across, and yet again, you've got lovely big mesh panels in both sides, which allows you again good circulation of air and keeps that front area separate. The joys of probably actually this whole big divider is necessarily if you wanted to cook underneath shelter, like you probably what you would do in the canopy area, really, you need to segregate your main canopy area to the sleeping area because obviously you're producing carbon monoxide gas. So really being careful with that and that again. And you've also got a zip along the bottom so it's a really nice thorough job. But uh, we'll just put that out of the way for the time being. Just so you can see the tent much easier. So just tuck that around the corner. Like I said, you've got the uh, wardrobe which doesn't really take up a lot of space, which is ideal so you can still store stuff in there or alternatively I suppose use it as a um, a kid's toilet, so again, you don't have to venture out to the toilet bunk in the middle of the night if you just want to put a small little portability in there. Good idea, I think. Um, yeah, again, by if I just take this down, it sort of gives you a bit more of a better look at the door situation here. So you've got two side doors as well as a nice big front door. Both side doors have uh, a mesh part to it, so yet again, you can have a good circulation of air without any sort of bugs and critters coming in. And what you also get like I said, well, that was the features. So you've got a um, point to hang your lantern, as well as uh, little Velcro tabs just here. So you, what you can do is, you, again, feed, if you've got mains hookup, feed the cable all the way and have your mains light there. And you, again, because you've got Velcro tabs, it leads down to cable entry points for your mobile mains. So you can actually, again, don't have to leave the door open the whole time. Moving to the sleeping area, what you've got is a beautiful um, royal bedroom. So it's um, actually deeper than your normal bedrooms you'll find with traditional tents. Normally you find about two meters 10 there or thereabouts. So on this you've got two meters 50. So that, that allows you to be able to have a double, sort of a nice proper camp bed that comes up to here as it should be, rather than having to have to turn it round and sleep that way along because there's not enough depth where the sort of back slopes off if you get what I mean. So that's a really nice thing that you again, <coughs> excuse me, is really down to Outwell and Outwell alone. You've got storage pockets at the front, put your keys, uh, books, um, just tidy and keep all the mess in there nicely and organized rather than have it scattered around. And yet again, on the bedrooms, you've got this like mesh part here. So what happens it helps to spread the weight of the inner so it doesn't create one particular stress point on the tent. So yet again, that's really gonna help the tent literally last longer as well. The XLP um, is ability to sleep seven, really it's probably more of a comfy six. Um, and you've got, this is two parts here is actually one sort of bedroom with a divider. So the bi divider goes sort of up the sides. So it doesn't actually run all the way along the bottom, but the separate one over here is completely separate. So it really does feel like an inner, but if you want to, you've got the ability of having it as one big open bedroom. Really nice little thing. Yeah, again, what you've also got with uh, this particular model is a new thing for this year. Not only has it got the XL bedrooms, but you've also got the ability to have 360 degree view. So you can now actually, there's a panels all around the back. So you can look out behind the tent. So yet again, if you've got kids uh, and you want to sort of do something and keep an eye on where they are, you've still got the ability to have a view out there, but you've also got a curtain to get the privacy when you want to as well. You've got a beautiful big mesh panel at the back to obviously help with um, condensation. And yet again, you've got almost like a gyro system inside here as well to hang bits and bobs on. Um, so really, I've thought about it, you know, very quite thoroughly. And yet again, what you also do find as well is there's a cable entry point into the inners, which no one really else does. So it means if you want to charge your phone in the middle of the night and keep it by you and store it in sort of your little pockets down here, uh, you've still got the ability to. And yet again, height-wise throughout the tent, me being six foot two, six foot three, bedrooms, no problem, I can get changed in here. And even in the corners, we're doing pretty well, to be fair. You know, it, it's a really nice, spacious tent. And certainly for people who are looking, you know, for 
camping and certainly you know in stormy weathers the steel frame really nice and strong great shape and you're never going to have a problem with you know not enough room because this tent has it in abundance so really positive model plenty of talking points and that's pretty much is the um, Outwell Vermont XLP for the 2017 season.